What's going on guys? Welcome to your 13th Java tutorial, I believe it is, with again me Travis and my bring back. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to learn a little bit more about math operations and you know how things work when we're programming. I know it's kind of boring, but you know, we kind of need to know this stuff, so just stick with me here. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an int value, we're going to call this answer. We're going to set this answer equal to a plus b which are both int values, so that's cool. And then we're, all we're going to do is a system print out and save and run. And as you can see, we get the desired result. Pretty simple, and we can also do you know subtraction. Pretty basic. So I'm just kind of run through these simple ones here. But let's say we want to do division real quick. So a value is 10, b value is 20, so we should get 0.5. But again, since we're having our answer be an int value. When we save and run this, we get zero. And we're like, what? And the reason that happens is because two reasons actually. One is the int variable type is super lazy. He's like, dude, you want me to work with decimal places? Are you kidding me? Screw that crap. And uh, the second reason is because, again, it is int value and it just doesn't work with decimal places. So pretty much it's just one reason. But let's try it with something else. Let's try it, let's try it with a float value because, again, floats, you know, they're cool. They work with decimal places. So we're going to do E divided by F. So, again, two float values. And since our answer is now a float data type, we should get a decimal place. So when we run it, we get 0.4 which you know that sounds pretty legit and also if we wanted to do another value let's say a double we can say a g divided by h we get an error because again these are double values and we're trying to you know say it's a float value so let's just change this to double we're going to save this and run it as you can see we get this pretty small number e to the negative ninth so it's also pretty precise. So again, that's when we use double values. So that's cool and everything. So let's try one last thing. Let's say a long value. And we're going to do C times D. So that's a pretty big number there. And we're going to save it and run it. And we get this huge number down here. So that's pretty cool. So those are the basic math operators. But let's talk about something a little bit different. Because before we talked about incrementation like for example if we said a let's just type it out real quick system print out a plus plus because again we did this with our while loop when we were working with Jerome hey Jerome quit humping that doll over there it's crazy stop that yeah when we were working with Jerome earlier uh, we had this plus plus in our while loop so you know we cycled through 10 times every time we added to it but let's print this out see what happens so we're gonna save it and print it and we're getting this 10 value right here and we're like what that's crazy uh, originally a was 10 I thought we added to it but again when we increment it's gonna print out what it is currently so right now it's 10 but then we reset a to equal 11 so if we did system print out again or I'm sorry system out print yeah just get just get used to me saying system out or system print out because I do that a lot but let's say we want to print out a now so let's save it run it and we have 10 and then 11 this is our s second system out print um, because after we've printed it then it's going to add to it so let's say we want to actually figure out what 11 is or I'm sorry what a is after we add to it so let's increment before we print out so we're gonna add two plus signs again that's just adding basically one to our current value we're gonna save it and uh, you know run it and now we have 11 so that's kind of a concept that you guys kind of want to know because right now it's adding to our value before we actually use that variable type because again our a value is 10 and since we put these two pluses beforehand that means it's gonna add one to our variable before we work with it um, so it'll print 11 but if we do the pluses at the end it's gonna print out our variable and then it's gonna add to it so it's gonna use our variable and then you know add one basically and we can also use decrementation I believe I'm saying that right I don't know you're never talking to your friends and they're like hey here's a dollar of the ten dollars I owed you you're like okay I'm gonna 
decrement your uh, your debt by one dollar. You know, who uses that word? But that's what it's called basically. So we can use the same operator. Basically, now we're subtracting one, but since we're doing it again after we print our variable, it's still going to print ten. So let's save it and run it. And as you can see, it says ten, but Anytime we use a down below, it's going to be equal to, you know, nine because we, you know, subtracted one here within our system print outline, or basically wherever you use this variable here, or this math operator here. So uh, hopefully that makes some sense. But also just to kind of clarify a little bit, we can also de decrement uh, before our a. And now it's going to print out 9 because we're subtracting 1 from the variable type. So let's save this, run it, and we should get a 9. That's pretty much it for this tutorial, basic math operators and all that good stuff. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one. See you later. Peace.